такие замечательные вещи, чтобы показать тебе. Я жду. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing some Chernobylite. Now this game is still in early access, but it is about 87.5% complete and it should be releasing uh, winter this year completely. Now, um, the game again isn't complete, so things may change in the final version, including performance. So I just want to go through the in-game settings. Playing at 3840 by 2160. Field of views at 90. Resolution scales at 100%, so it is completely native. No VSync, a limited frame rate, so we should be able to let the RTX 3090 stretch its legs as much as possible. Looking um, into advanced settings, everything's at ultra settings. The only thing I have disabled is motion blur, because I'm not very much a fan. Now, I have enabled fidelity effect sharpening. Now, this isn't something that's on by default, and I've added it at 25%, because it does help sharpen out the image, because we use a lot of post processing that can uh, make things a bit blurry, so it does help. I'm not too sure how much it affects performance though, but anyway, here we are. I have played this before on my RTX 2080 Ti, back when I got given access to uh, the game, and uh, I want to see how far it's come along, and uh, see if they've progressed quite a bit. Now, this game did have DirectX 12 as an API choice at one point, but it was an experimental feature and the devs may have taken it out, it seems, because they didn't get what they wanted from it. It may make it back into the final release, though. We'll have to see. But the game is very, very demanding at 4K, it has to be said. And uh, you're going to need a beefy system. So you play as this guy called Igor, or Igor. And uh, he's looking for his girlfriend Tatiana, who's went missing, which has led him back to Chernobyl. This is years after the 19, uh, I think, it was 1986 disaster. So um, we're in the exclusion zone now. This is obviously some kind of dream. So, uh, I must really like this girl to uh, come into a uh, an exclusion zone to find her. Uh, again, this is obviously just some kind of dream. I'm pretty sure you'd be fighting creatures like that in the game, mutated humans. So performance is pretty harsh around these. This part of the game dropping down into the mid 40s and uh yeah it's not always like this though there, there are parts of the game that runs quite considerably over 60 frames but uh it does run smooth i'll give it that not too sure what engine this is built on potentially unreal i'll have to have a look into it but this part wasn't in the game when i first played so they've actually made an intro now which is nice to see Not too bad on the VRAM as well, just using under 4 uh, gigabytes, which is nice. Okay, where is this Tatiana leading me? What is going on with the sky? Okay. So I ended up with a gun, I'm not complaining. I'd rather be armed. Okay, so this is obviously some kind of tutorial part of the game. A weird creature trying to come out. So dodge and approach the enemy by double tapping A or D. Now. 
clearly you're not meant to win that fight because um, I had that one magazine of, of bullets and that was it but that was fun while it lasted can't wait to get a gun and start killing some things okay, where's she leading me guess I gotta get over to the tree Okay, so it seems I've got to construct uh, this item. Uh, I need to go around looking for all of the uh, parts, so let me just quickly look around. Okay. I'll do that, so have a look around. So this is obviously his. Построит и любовь моя. Это единственный способ выбраться отсюда. See if there's anything around the corner. An interesting painting. Pretty sure that's not Russian school uniform. It looks a lot like Japanese school school uniform if that was the case. Interesting there. Okay, I think that that, that does it. See if we can craft this item now. Yes we can. Took about two days to make. This is where the game used to start, but they пробраться на атомную станцию. Найти пункт управления номер пять. Взломать систему АЗ-5, чтобы поднять стержни. Выманить оттуда солдат на рынок и собрать чернобыль. На 10 часов. Вердолет. Не высовывайте. So yeah, they've added this. The whole previous scene was like a new intro that wasn't there before, so it's good that they've added that. Um, so yeah, in this, this dense area with a lot of vegetation, you'd still drop them below 60 frames. Миша, мы не сможем. Огонь, огонь отрезает на путь назад. Надо отступать. So it seems that Igar, the main character, is having flashbacks to the past. It was obviously like a recreation of the explosion in 1986, so that needs to be explained. I'm wondering why that's happening. Graphics are pretty decent though. Well, it is first, what a cheeky guy, but I'll let him uh -huh. off. Did 
там проклятие нет здесь никого я же говорил грузовик который мы обнаружили его еще проверяют надо отцепить принтер так вы двое хорош болтать будьте на чеку этот грузовик сам по себе не приехал оставайся в тени окей сабрами олива нансон на сюэ энтранс and I've got to avoid any combatants. I heard I can see two soldiers there. Tatiana's advising me to stay in the shadows, but it doesn't seem like there's many. Anyway, I better stay down. See if there's any other way I can go. Try. We've got two guards up ahead. Yes, I said. Да уж, легкая сторожить хрен знает что у черта на рогах. Никто не выкупит, что мы напились. То, что надо. И не говори. Okay, so these guys are splitting up. I need them both looking in the same direction. I should be able to sneak behind them. Almost saw me there. Follow up here. Follow around. Hopefully he doesn't see me. So we're getting around 80 frames per second right now, which isn't too bad. Game seems to be playing a lot smoother than I remember. Doesn't use that much memory as well. So his back's turned. I should be off to just go in a straight line now and uh, evade being seen. Let's try and get behind. Some of this cover. Yes, yes. Go in there. Made it. Okay, we did it. Okay, let's go. Так это здесь. Да, да, да. Спускаемся оттуда прямиком на станцию. Игорь, возьми счетчик Гегера и следи за уровнем радиации. Хорошо? Три, шесть, да. Так себе, конечно, но не катастрофа. Мы в безопасности. Больше нигде не безопасно. Хорошо, я иду первым. Антон, прикрой меня. Так точно, сэр. Оливер, сэр. You can use this device to scan the area for specific items. So I guess they just glow up. Flammable liquid. Electronic parts. More stuff over here. More flammable stuff. This container has multiple items. As you can see down in the sewer in this closed area I get in over 100 frames per second, so Да. Нужно только немного чернобылита. Минерал, который хранится в адской радиоактивном помещении реактора. А еще его хранит половин армии Норд. Конечно, нет проблем, Игорь. Может прибавку сделаешь, а? Мы еще далеко от злочастного четвертого реактора. Сосредоточься, Антон. Well, see, the game isn't demanding everywhere. This seems to be one of the lighter scenes. Слишком большая, бросайте его, спасайте сами. Здесь. Он прямо тут. Не двигайте. О боже. О боже. 
Эй, откройте дверь! Выпустите меня! Выпустите! Александр Борисович, кто-то должен пройти туда и открыть двери вручную. He can like see ghosts or whatever, but it's still kind of showing the past as well. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a strange thing that needs to be explained, but I'm sure there's a reason why this is happening. Okay, let's put away the Geiger counter. I'm going to need that. The reflections are really good on this game, though. So you don't need ray tracing for everything. So I've got to try and stealth attack this guy. Nicely done, no need to kill him. Okay, it's obviously the main control room. Игорь, не надо. Что? Почему, Татьяна? Что-то не так. Ты с кем разговариваешь? Yeah, can't really explain that, so I'm gonna have to find an excuse. Я одна. Просто система не реагирует как надо, и мы не можем спровоцировать еще один взрыв. Новую катастрофу. Дерьмо! Это же был твой план с самого начала. Что теперь? Я? Я не знаю. Надо проникнуть в помещение реактора. Как-то иначе. О боже, черт! Ладно, хорошо. Придется делать это жестко. Выдвигаемся, Антон. Вперед! В помещение реактора! Seems to be safe, everything's quite low. Maybe I don't need it out. Okay, that was quick. Ничего, по нулям. Все будет хорошо. Ладно, парни. Но не видите меня, если я чуть светится или лишняя пара ног отрастет. Остановка здесь. Один в темноте. Okay, what is this? Let's get a Gaga cutter out. It's actually quite low in radiation, it seems. So maybe we can touch it. He's so cold. You're that the head is too high? No, как оно работает? Это твое устройство. Это устройство создает трансцендентное отображение пространственно-временного континуума. А синтетическая проекция множества колобиява модифицируется в антидеоситировом пространстве. Короче говоря, порождает мост Хокинга. Э, что? Искривляет пространство и время. Требует невероятного количества энергии. А Чернобылит ее бесконечный источник. Говоришь как суперзлодей из плохого фильма. Эта технология поможет мне найти ее. Кого? Мою невесту, она пропала здесь, в Чернобыле, 30 лет назад. Да, полная безумие. А у нас совсем нет времени на подобную чудо. 
О, Боже! Оливер! На помощь! Ай, мы просто убили Энто. Слыхали? Они отложили испытания дуги. От дерьмо. Оливер! Оливер, черт, где ты? Черт побери, Игорь. Я думал, этот ублюдок схватил тебя. Он Антона убил, слышишь? Боже мой. Мне так жаль, Оливер. Антон. Антон был хорошим парнем и хорошим бойцом. Он погиб ужасной смертью. Да что это, черт возьми, было? Кто этот ублюдок? Я, я не знаю, но, но он умеет телепортироваться. Должно быть, это... Трансцендент биакционная проекция пространственно временного континуума. Вот дерьмо, только не начиная опять. Нет, нет, никакой научной лабуды. Прекрати, а то у меня голова взорвется. Где мы, черт побери? Внутри. Внутри чего? Ничего. Дело не где или когда мы внутри точки сингулярности. Везде и нигде одновременно. Ага, конечно. Бред собачий. Нам надо убираться отсюда. Уверен, тот парень идет по следу. А у меня ни малейшего желания еще раз с ним встретиться. Так что, куда нам? Где выход? А, да, ты прав. Конечно, чудеса могут и подождать. Смотри, вон там. Вон выход, видишь? Вижу. Тогда давай встретимся у Михаила. Ай, черт. Моя рука. Так болит. Сломана. Я убью тебя. Ты. Ублюдок в черной маске. За Антона. Okay, Что это? Шторм? Все рушится? Это, это конец света, это все моя ошибка. Основа нашего мира. Такая тонкая. Ее так легко сломать. Неужели это я сделал все это? Глаза в твоей голове. Забытые воспоминания. Okay, there's a lot of radiation around here. Head this way. I see a figure that's flashed past the door. I wonder who that was. Yes, there's a lot going on in this game. We've just basically jumped out of some interdimensional space and now we're into the real world again and it doesn't seem to be stable at all. So, there's a lot going on. Ты что, не 
боишься радиации, дорогой? Я знаю, что ты в защитном костюме, но всякое случается, верно? That thing's over 30 years old. It's survived a nuclear explosion. It still knows if you got radiation in you. That's funny. It seems like there's some anti-radiation medicine in here. But let's use this. Should be able to get through now. So you can kind of calibrate the sensor to look for plants and other herbs around. So let's let it search for herbs. Okay. Yeah, so we need to make something. Maybe for healing. You've collected enough, find the fireplace and use it to create some healing salvo. Let's just collect some more anyway. Can't hurt to get any extra. Alright, got enough herbs. Okay, let's not find a place to make this medicine. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for a place where there's a sign that says high radiation. Не смотри на огонь, Игорь. Хватит смотреть. Нам нужно приготовить ужин. So you can calibrate this stuff to find everything else of use. So there's flammable liquid here, electronical part here. Oh damn, I don't remember the password. Не 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 стреляй, не стреляй. Это же я. Черт, Игорь, запомните одно слово. Это слишком для тебя. Ностальгия. Пароль Ностальгия. Ты же сам его выбрал, черт тебя дери. Давай, заходи. Слушай, Игорь, ты же у нас мастер на все руки. Осмотрись тут. Может весь этот хлам на что-то сгодится? Давай, чувствуй себя как дома. Я мечтаю о маленьком деревянном домике среди леса. Дорогой, ты бы построил там себе мастерскую. И мы были бы так счастливы вместе. So it seems we're going to use this as our base, so we just need to collect some materials and let's make some space to make some new stuff, so I'll start scrapping everything now. This game's got a bit of a stalker vibe to it, probably the closest thing to stalker that we've got at the moment. Okay, I think that's all of the junk taken care of now. So it all depends where I want to put stuff. Maybe I'll put the workbench around here somewhere. Yes, okay, right. Build other stuff as well. Put this here. All depends on how much parts we got left. So we're missing some parts, so I can't make this. So we just basically gotta find more resources to make other things like beds and other stuff. Just complete your base. I'm so sure you can make it look pretty snazzy once you've got it, all the materials, but that's for another day. Let's go and speak to um, Oliver, see what he has to say. <laughs> 
Yeah, we need to find this tattoo here, but I understand what you're saying. Okay, so it's a lot of Well, at least he gave me a gut. That's nice. So I really need to uh, map one of my uh, equipment. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, I don't want this to drag on for too long. That's just a look at the early scenes of, or the opening scenes of Shinobi Light game. I'm nearly finished now, so uh, I'll definitely have a look at it again once it's complete. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.